I was very impressed at how you stood up to Alexis. Thank you. Honestly, I believe that her intentions were good. I've just been running my life for a very long time now. Right. Well, I just want you to understand what the contract entails and it does not entail. That's why I asked you to do it tonight. Okay. Well, I don't sign anything. I don't understand. So. You don't have any questions at all? No. The money is good. The terms are very clear. We both agree that I'm a paid companion to any events that have to deal with running Cassadine Industries. You know, a lot of people won't understand. I don't care. We understand that's what matters. Nicholas, look, you're a prince, and I highly doubt that you have ever had trouble finding a date. But dating takes, it takes time. You don't have time. You have to stay focused on business, and so I can provide my services, which I'm totally fine with. I'm having a good time. I have time for music. Brooklyn, I honestly believe that you have an incredible gift, okay? And I'm just glad that I can give you some financial security while you get your career started. That's really all. Thank you. I really appreciate that, by the way. I mean, it's great to be in the city and not have to worry about paying rent. And I mean, and then I come and I'm hanging out with you and meeting all these interesting people. And I mean, we're having fun. This is good. Yeah, it is. And, and, and of course, I'm, I'm happy to explain to your parents what's going on, if that, if that will help matters. Anyway. To, explain, to explain my parents. Oh, my God. Nicholas, come on. <laughs> Relax. Everything's fine. It's fine. You are paying me to hang out with you, not to like you. I'm just throwing that in for free. So. I'm sure you guys. So, this guy doesn't speak any Spanish. None whatsoever, right? But he wants to cross over into the Hispanic market because it's growing so quickly and he needs exposure. So he keeps singing, Dame todo su amor, tu gran vaca. <laughs> Give me all your loving, you big cow? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so what's the last time you've had a dinner that didn't involve chicken fingers and carrot sticks and mac and cheese, huh? I don't know. It's been way too long. And forgive me if I cut up your steak and remind you to use your nap. <laughs> so I thought if I threw all the Latin books over the cliff, I wouldn't have to study anymore. I mean, come on, they were so old, there couldn't be any more in existence, right? Oh. No, I was, I was wrong. Okay, well, all I had to deal with were the nuns at St. Agnes, so it sounds like I had it easy. Yeah, oh, excuse me. I'm sorry, I apologize. I have to take this. I'll be right back. No, no, don't go over there. Let's just have a nice dinner. Oh, no, I'll just be a second. Find what little self-respect you have left and get out of Nicholas's life. Oh, well, it's nice to see you too, Liz. Listen, not that it's any of your business, but I am under contract now. I have a 401k, a savings account, and my self-respect. Wow, you are more calculating than I thought. No, I'm just following my dreams and not getting stuck in Port Charles with three different children by three different guys, but then again, who's counting? So don't stand there and try and talk to me about self-respect. Also, if you're starting to regret letting Nicholas go, I can't help you there because Nicholas is not available. You're acting like you're having some type of grand romance with him. But I hate to break it to you, your convenience. That's it. Glad I ran into you. Yeah. Is everything all right here? Oh, yeah. I, I just wanted to come over to make sure you were still picking up Aiden on Monday. I know how busy the holiday season of is. Of course. For you. No, no. We're of course we're we're still in. I'm looking forward to it. Good. Uh, and uh, Cam and Jake are welcome too, as always. Oh, thank you. Thank you for being so generous always. Enjoy your dinner. Thanks. So what was that really about? Don't worry about it. It's nothing I couldn't handle. Oh, I hate how the little gold diggers are working him. I thought you and Nicholas agreed to stay out of each other's personal lives. Look, come on. We've been friends for a really long time. Whatever happens or doesn't happen between us, he still deserves better than Brooklyn. So, I'm sorry. I really can't help it. I'm getting nervous about this wedding. Well, we can, we can check up on Tracy without... Actually appearing to check up on Tracy if you want to stop by the Haunted Star. Actually, I would really like that. Okay, let's go. <laughs> you know, you did make a big deal about 
raising those boys on your own. I know. I know. I just didn't expect it to be like this. Nicholas is in business, if that's even what you want to call it, with Brooklyn, and Lucky is running around town having adventures with some woman from Ireland. And I just stuck with Big Brother, having dinner at the nicest place in town, when we haven't had a real conversation in ages. I know. I'm sorry. I have a lot to be grateful for.